Since I left last September, the base has doubled in size with the addition of Camp Bastion 2, which seems to me a clear indication that British forces will be here for quite some time. Outside the general headquarters is a stark reminder of how real this conflict is. This is the memorial of the fallen. People have died here in Helmand province. There are names of people here who I've met, families that I know. The sobering thought for me is that the last name on the plaque presently is, is dated 20th of February 08. And if we were to bring the plaque up to date, we'd have to add another 21 names. This war, because that's what it is, shows no sign of ending. In total, nine men from one Royal Anglian lost their lives here last year. The first was Chris Gray. You don't want to believe it's true. You, do, you want to believe that they're coming home? You want to think that they're coming home? You do. I just want him to come home so much. I just want him to walk through my door, dump his bag and raid the fridge. Plonk himself down. My eyes are also drawn to the names of three young men who lost their lives in a blue on blue incident at Kajaki almost a year ago. Foster, McClure, and Thrumble were killed when the compound they were in took a direct hit from a 500 pound American bomb. Keep down! Keep down! Keep down! Keep down, Freddie Frank! To lose a child thousands of miles away when your one job in life is to look after that child but you can't be there and you weren't there you know you feel like the one moment they needed you more than they would ever need you at any other time and you're not there six months later robbie's family held an evening in memory of their son Robbie's great wish was to have his ashes scattered in a most imaginative way. It's because of the bravery of these young men and others like them that I want to return to Afghanistan. <laughs> 